I'm Holly Wainwright, editor of Mamma Mia. Today, I've had my hair styled, but usually I'm the owner of some pretty unruly hair and I can never quite find the perfect product to tame it for me. It's an ongoing mission that I know every woman is on. But today, I'm here with TV and radio host Yumi Steins, who has had so many different hairstyles and hair challenges that I can barely keep up. She's here to talk about all of that today to celebrate Pantene's new and changed formula for their hair care products. We've asked some of the women we admire the most to tell us all about their hair journeys. So Yumi, the first shot we have of you here mm-hmm. is from your Channel V TV presenting days. And you are with the wonderful Osha Gunsberg. Mm-hmm. He was the older guy and I was the upstart. And he was always having to show me what to do and, and be a host on TV. And I didn't have a clue about anything, including what to do with my hair. <laughs> so if you have a look at it, you can see I've got clips, I've got ponytails, I've got an undercut, I think, that's growing out. And the whole thing is a bit of a hot mess, but I didn't care. And I think that was the beauty of it. It was just sort of, you know, have fun and be yourself and, and never be precious about your appearance. Was there pressure on you to look a certain way? Did anyone tell you how to cut your hair or you should dye your hair or you should do this or you should do that? Not really. I, what I found was a lot of people wanted to talk about Osha's hair. <laughs> well, he did have some pretty spectacular hair there. <laughs> people didn't really care about my hair because I just did whatever I wanted. And they, I think in the end they became unshockable. My hair grows so fast that it doesn't really matter what I do to it. I guess the only thing is being so thick and so sort of um, strong that if I shave it, it it gets really puffy. You end up with a bit of a bobble head. (laughs) A little bit of a fat head, (laughs) as my mum would say. This next shot of yours, you suddenly look like you have kind of ladylike grown-up hair. The fringe is what I like to call um, Japanese Botox. Ah. What I've noticed with my mum and her, or her circle of friends is as they've gotten older they've suddenly gone zoom with their hair so you can't see any of the wrinkles and any of the business going on up here. So of all my haircuts that I've had in my history which are many I'd probably revisit this one. I think when you reach, reach a certain age you want your hair to be reflective of your maturity. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Felt um, what? You don't need to work on being pretty so much, you know? Who cares? And then at some point you kind of go, actually, you know, it can be, it can be nice to be a bit feminine and to work on that, that element of your own beauty. It sounds really lame, but it was a nice lesson to learn that you yeah. don't always have to just kind of use the most disposable, immediate thing at hand. This is you yeah. with your husband? Yeah. Are you somewhere fabulous there? Because you both look very happy. <laughs> well, there are no kids in, in the <laughs> shot. We were in Barcelona and... Um, and I did that classic thing where, you know, you kind of got your hair in a ponytail. You're wearing, I'm wearing glasses usually. And I take my glasses off and I undo my hair and I flick it like and this. And it's gone all. <laughs> so it's all really my, the shiny. you're beautiful. Yeah, and because it's been up, when it comes out, it sits really big. So I feel like Sophia Loren. We take the photo and then put the glasses back on and put the <laughs> hair back. But just for that moment, you know, I felt so, so glamorous. Totally. So what do you think that... Um, Crazy hair, Mm. Yumi, in 2000, who was like, I don't care what my hair looks like, thinks of um, Sophia Loren, Yumi, having champagne with her husband in Barcelona. I don't know. Part of me feels like she'd be like, what? You don't go stage diving anymore? (laughs) And you're married? Like, how establishment is that? What is wrong with you? But I think part of of that old Yumi would look forward and think, well, that's great that you are happy and that you um, you kind of look all right, you know? I think she'd be all right about it. Do you think she'd think your hair was boring? <laughs> um, I think she thought lots of things were boring, that anything that was kind of, you know, acceptable and mainstream was boring, but I think she'd be proud that I still, you know, I still l- like stuff. <laughs> yeah. If you'd like to try Pantene's new products, which have up to 100% damage protection and a lightweight feel, just visit pantenepromise.com.au.